In this video, let's see another important operation on matrix called as multiplication. This is the last operation that we are going to study. It is very important. Multiplication we also studied earlier, so don't get confused. That was multiplication by a scalar. This time we are going to take up two matrices or more than one matrix and then multiply those matrices together and not by a scalar constant or a quantity. Also, matrix multiplication does not mean that you have been given any two matrix and every time you can multiply them. It is just that you need to follow a certain condition. If that condition satisfies, then you can multiply those matrices. Let's see how to do matrix multiplication and what basically is the theoretical approach to it. Let's read the theory. So if A is equal to Aij m by n, that means I have a matrix A of m by n order. I also have a matrix B which has the elements listed as Bij and the order is n by p. What happens is you have to consider the first matrix as the pre-multiplier. The first matrix is known as what? It is known as the pre-multiplier. I write the word here. Pre multiplier because it is the first thing that you are going to write down. You will be multiplying A and B as A, B. Na? So this is first thing which is pre-multiplier. The second matrix is known as what? It is known as the post multiplier. So there are two important terminologies that you need to know. The first is the pre-multiplier, the second is the post multiplier. You multiply the pre with the post that means A into B. And A into B is what actually A into B is multiplying each element and then successively and subsequently adding those elements. So that means ABIJ will become what? It will be the product and then summation. So I have summation R is equal to 1 to N. So that means the value will be first 1, then R will be 2, then 3 and so on till N. So it is AIRBRJ. Put the value of R as 1 first, so it is AI1B1J, then R will be 2, so AI2B2J and so on. Till what? Till the last element when N is equal to R, that means AINBNJ. If still not understood, we will be taking one illustration and also let's see another in the matrix form, that in the matrix form what is A into B? I know that A into B means first you write the matrix A, then you write the matrix B. I also told you that every time matrix multiplication is not possible. Matrix multiplication is possible if and only if one condition satisfies. That means the number of columns, I repeat, the number of columns in the pre-multiplier. What is the pre-multiplier? The first thing. How many columns? Here it is N. The number of columns in the pre-multiplier should be same as the number of rows in post-multiplier. You see here, it is both n and n. Then only the multiplication is possible, otherwise it is not. So that means number of columns in the pre-multiplier should be same as number of rows in the post-multiplier. Then only two given matrices are confirmable for product. They are possible to give you multiplication. Right? So we write it in the manner as first matrix is written in the form of a row matrix that is AI1, AI2 and so on. Second will be written in the form of a column matrix and then we will be multiplying and adding each element. Still not understood? Let's see an example. I have a given matrix as A is equal to say 1, 2, 3. And I have another matrix wherein B and that is equal to 5, 6, 7. Taking simple examples just to make you understand. Now what is the order of the given matrix A? 1 row, 3 columns. What about this given matrix? This matrix is having 3 rows, 1 column. Now check. If I have to find out A into B, A into B means A is coming first, so it is my pre-multiplier. Pre-multiplier's number of columns, pre-multiplier's number of columns should be equal to number of rows of the post-multiplier. It is happening, okay. So that means I will be having this multiplication as possible. Now what I do is I write the first matrix, I write the second matrix and I have to basically multiply them. 
how do we do this we take first row first column first element first row first column so that is 1 into 5 what is 1 into 5 it is 5 and you also need to consider then the next elements but let's see one more thing one more thing is what when I multiply these two matrix I will be getting another matrix and that single matrix will be having what order so that single matrix will be having the order as number of rows of my first matrix multiply number of columns of my second matrix that means if a and b are multiplied my order is what it is m by p that you need to consider similarly here if a and b are multiplied what is my order my order is m which is 1 by 1 so that means i have basically 1 by 1 matrix 1 row 1 column so one row one column means a single square you can draw it right so it is one by one and what you have to do is you have to follow this procedure and this procedure will give me this thing that you have to multiply each element and then you have to basically add those elements so five ones are is five and then I have a plus sign according to the formula so five plus again two into six second and from here also you need to find out the second one so 2 6 is 12 so I basically have 5 plus 12 let's make it the answer simple here only 5 plus 12 makes it 17 and what next I am supposed to do I'm supposed to see the third element from here third element from here so 3 7 is 21 so 17 plus 21 17 plus 21 will give me another matrix and that is basically 38 so 38 1 by 1 is the answer to this operation of matrix.